What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Open Mind. I might be a bit late to speak on this topic, so I'm just going to use the, the old news as an example. And this old, it's not old news, it's still fairly new, it's just that I'm late to the party as far as like giving a response to it. And it's about this concerning, it's pertaining to Dr. Dre's daughter being homeless. You know, not sleeping in her car, working for, you know, gig working, doing the delivery services, and her dad's a billionaire. Um, the title of the video is just, is, you know, generational wealth and, and the, you know, the way I worded it. I'm just using her for example. And Dr. Dre is not the only rich person. And I would say rich black person, but it's not a color thing. It's just about the individual with the riches. You hear a lot about generational wealth. Now you hear it a lot in the black community as far as a talking point, because that's what a lot of the, the talking heads try to reference as to why the black community don't have no money and why we can't get anything done is because we don't have no generational wealth right well there are those of us who get rich in the hundreds of millions even into the billions and we find every excuse to not pass that wealth on to our generation coming behind us take using dr dre's daughter for example i'm not in a family business to determine if dr dre is justified in turning his back on his daughter like that but let's not talk about his daughter you can dig for this video it's seven years old but it's a video where tmz caught dr one of dr dre's sons at an airport getting ready to fly coach now he didn't disparage his father like say anything disrespectful but he did let us know what it is and that was seven years ago before we even for his daughter even going through the shit she's going through right now and Dr. Dre's son made it very clear that Dr. Dre does not go out of his way for his grown kids because they grown, right? They adults and you got to get it how you live. And and I, I, I struggled and I went through this to get where I'm at and ain't no handouts in life. You know how parents talk? Even broke parents talk like that. That's, so that's not a rich thing. That's a old generational thinking, old parenting. The way the 60s and the 70s kids was raised, if you, if you was born in the 60s, born in the 70s, and even in the 80s, because I'm an 80s baby. The, whoever raised you, raised you like that. They, took, they, they, they drilled that in your head that I don't owe you nothing once you become an adult. You grown, you got to get out here and figure it out. That is how I was raised, because I'm out born in 82. Anybody in the 70s decade, anybody during the 60s decade was raised like that. And now that they're still alive, they've amassed some wealth in their older age now, in, their, in, in the golden years of their life. Their kids are adults struggling like a motherfucker because that's just how this society is. This economy is, a, is crazy as fuck. Everybody's struggling. It's hard to get by. Even rich people struggling to maintain their riches because money, a lot of money going out, a lot, a lot of money coming in. So their riches are dwindling in this economy that we in. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot of variables and reasons why people don't exactly get rich. Getting rich is a, is, 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 is a lot of luck associated with that. There's a lot of right place at the right time associated with being rich. It's not a, you people like, well, I, I, I'm educated, I got my education, I, I, I learned the skills, I worked hard to get where I'm at. Maybe you did, but you're still at the right place at the right time. Because a lot of hardworking motherfuckers who still broke, a lot of smart people who still broke, a lot of people who did everything right, who have the skills, the charisma, and all of the credentials to do the job, but still don't get the money that they deserve. What about the people who have all of the things you said you did to get rich and are doing those things every day as we speak, they still ain't giving up, they still doing it, but they still broke. What is, what is your reason for them being broke? Why they haven't made it yet, even though they have all of 
the tenacity, all of the work ethic, and all the skills and intelligence to do the thing that gets them rich, but yet the money ain't coming. Why won't you accredit that to luck if you're rich and you're watching this video and you're looking down at me like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? You don't know me. You don't know my background. You don't know what I know to assume that I don't know what I'm talking about. It's, what, it's called accountability. I know you don't like it, especially when you get rich or you get wealthy or you get successful and somebody come try to check you you do this to him. That's what you do to him. That's your demeanor. That's your attitude. That's your way of thinking. Who the fuck are you to tell me any? They all get so fucking arrogant. Y'all wear your egos like I wear my fucking scarf on my head. It's sitting there. It's just sitting there holding it. Your ego holds you. And I know you hate to be held and kind of told about yourself. From D.L. Hughley to Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Jackie Chan, talk about rich people, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, talk about rich people. Now you talk about everybody, talk about the people who have said in an interview, who have said, or their kids have told on them in their own way. My mama or my daddy or my parents are billionaires, millionaires. I'm out here homeless struggling. That's a, that's a, that's more of a typical story than y'all realize. And it's not a color thing. It has nothing to do with your skin color. This is a mindset that I'm talking about. I am not attacking a race of people. I am attacking a mindset. Generational wealth, my ass. Y'all don't believe in that shit. You don't. Because... Somebody asked D.L. Hughley a question. He blew it off, pertaining to his grown son who could who could use his help. Just, just examples. This is why this video ain't about Dr. Dre's daughter or Dr. Dre. Just using that example. I can keep naming names of different skin colors, some black, some not, who get grown kids. And at, and, at, and at a certain point in their life, they in their 30s, they in their 40s, or in their mid-20s, they out here fucked up, trying to get by, trying to just get something. And your ass won't help them. You look down on them because you rich and your child ain't rich. So somehow that makes you look bad, so you don't want to have shit to do with them because it makes you look bad, but that's still your child. And no matter how many people come across this video and frown upon it, dislike it, get irritated or shut it off before it finishes. You laid down and had two motherfucking kids. They were sperm cells swimming in your nuts and they was a, a embryo in your fucking stomach, depending on the circumstances. The child is born. Have not asked to be here. Y'all fucking. And a child was created. Multiple children. And as far as I'm concerned, fuck that 18-year-old, 21-year-old bullshit. If you got kids, you're supposed to be there for your kids to the day you fucking die. Because you had kids. Now, if you don't have any children, you don't owe anybody any generational wealth. If you're an auntie or an uncle and you're rich and you don't want to pass that on to your nieces and nephews, nobody can frown upon you because those are not your children. It's still fucked up. It's still kind of side, I'll side eye you, but I'm not going to be like, I ain't going to like dismiss you like a bad person because you're an aunt or an uncle and you didn't have children, but yet you've amassed wealth in your life. So, hey, you know, these my nieces and my nephews, I ain't got to give them nothing. But most uncles are more willing to pass on wealth than, than moms and dads. Uncles seem to be more, uncles and aunts seem to be more willing to sacrifice for children than parents sometimes. The very parents of a child get more love and affection and acceptance and guidance and care and, 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 and help from an aunt or an uncle than their own fucking parents, rich or poor. 
So most rich uncles and rich aunts are willing to pass on their they wealth to their to they nieces and nephews because they didn't have no kids for whatever reason. Maybe a rich woman couldn't have kids like Oprah, for example, can't have kids. She just her body can't have them. She lost that ability at a young age from being sexually assaulted. You may they, she was a young woman. She was raped. It destroyed her inside. So she's just like Mary J. Blige can't have kids because of what happened to them in a younger age. They was a victim of abuse. So it damaged their uterus. Mary J. Blige's uterus is damaged by KC um, from, from Jodeci beating on her back when she was real young in the 90s. And they was she was fresh in the industry. That was her industry boyfriend. He was real abusive towards her. Hit her all in her stomach a lot. That damaged her uterus. That's why Mary J. Blige don't have no kids. Not because she don't want none, but because she just can't have any. She got nieces and nephews, though. And she has made it clear in many interviews in the past that when she pass on, her, her sister and them kids going to get that fucking money. That's auntie building generational wealth for her generation. Her, her sister, who them kids belong to, is not rich. But she taking care of her. And she ain't she looking out. She probably not paying all her bills or, or really just doing everything for her, everything. But don't think Mary J. Blige ain't helping her sister. Don't think Mary J. Blige's sister is not benefiting from Mary J. Blige's riches. She, why would she not? It's not even mooching. This is my sister. She been there for me through hard times. These my nieces and nephews. And I love them like they my kids. And Mary J. Blige can do that if that's what the fuck she is. She's setting an example of generational wealth. And that's this. Like I said, Oprah, she plans to pass her wealth on to her niece and nephew. I mean, uncles and aunts seem to be more willing when they rich. Even when they broke. Not even a, a money thing. It just see, it's, the, it's the title. It's the position. The auntie and the uncle seem... And I could be wrong in that regard. It just seemed like aunts and uncles are more willing to die on a sword or die on a cross for a child that ain't even theirs. It's their niece or their nephew. Go hard for their niece or their nephew. Supportive of niece and nephew. Mom and daddy is just dismissive. Sometimes. But the premise of the video is about generational wealth. Not picking on all parents it's the generational wealth talking motherfuckers who got wealth got it somehow made it but when the conversation comes up when the child turns 25 30 31 they struggling they just cannot seem to to grab on to that self-made title you dismiss them you turn your back up you turn your nose up to them because you just disgusted with your child not being in the position you in, disregarding and completely dismissive of the luck factor on your point. Money just falls on people. Yes, you gotta be in a position. Yes, you gotta do certain things to earn money. No, it's no no no, it's not gonna fall off the sky like literally. But it's about being in the right place at the right time. You can get some money, but wealthy, rich, billions, millions, that just requires luck. Positioning, right place at the right time, knowing the right people, being, being there when somebody else ain't there. Fortunate. Count your blessings, appreciate what you got. Nobody's saying that you can't be rich. We're saying if you get there, help your fucking kids get there because your ass got lucky. Take advantage of the fact that somehow you came from this to that and you got it. You got the commas in the bank now. All right. I don't want my kids to deal with none of the anxiety I had. To, I've dealt with. I don't want my kids to experience none of this uncertainty that I've been dealing with. I'm here now. I got this rich, this house, this, this land, this acres of land, these businesses, these stocks, these investments. And there's all this money coming in. I, 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 I'm blessed. I'm here. I, I made it. But your kids are never going to live and walk the path you walk. Everybody got their own individual walk in this life. Period. They're not going to be in the same places as you were. 
They're just not. They got a different life path than you. Help your kids. If you become rich by however means and you got kids, generational wealth should be in your vocabulary. What are you working for then? If you got kids, I'm talking about the people with kids. I'm not talking about the people who ain't got no kids. So if you do not have children, please don't even comment. Just keep fucking moving. This video ain't for you. This is for parents. If you got kids and you've accumulated wealth, why, what are you accumulating it for? Why do you punch in and go to work? Why do you get on a plane and fly across town, fly across the United States to go to that business meeting at that stock meeting or that, 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 that marketing session? Why did you go to Japan to meet with them suits and ties? What are you doing this for if not for your kids? What are you doing it for? What example are you trying to set for who? Who are you trying? Who are you teaching? Why do you go to work to earn money? Why do you do it if you got kids? What is your purpose for earning money? If you ain't giving it to them, what the fuck are you doing? Whether you with your kids or not, I pay child support. All of my kids are not in the house with me. Some are and some are not. The ones that are not in my house get a child support check from me. Because I go to work to take care of my kids. That's the purpose of me working. If I didn't have any kids, I wouldn't work the way I work. I would do some other shit. I would do so much shit that I want to do. Even if it didn't pay me. It's me. I only got to worry about myself. So if it's less money doing the thing I love to do, I don't give a fuck because it's me. But I can't think like that. That's selfish. I got children. I got obligations. And I have to work to meet those obligations. So as the kids get grown, they're going to struggle. They're going to have hardship. And if I can, if I'm able to, if I have the means to do so, I am going to make it to where they don't have to struggle as hard as I did. Because I know that anxiety, that shit will take you to your grave. It'll push you to suicide damn near. Everybody can't deal with the failure. So some failure, some hardship is okay for growth. But some hardships can be avoided. A lot of y'all parents like to watch your kids struggle because you struggle. And, it, and, and it's sickening. It broke my heart to see Dr. Dre's daughter homeless like that. That broke my heart. I don't have to know the full story. If she did disrespect her father and say some things out of line, that's not deserved. Her kids should have to suffer, that's what I'm saying. An issue between father and daughter is between father and daughter. I fuss at my daughters every fucking day damn near about something around the house. But that's just me being a father. My daughters, they, they slick at the mouth. They say little, they get smart with me and say little shit. But I don't turn my back on them because they had a little funky attitude because their ass is on their period or some shit. My daughters have periods. And I know when they ass on their fucking period because they little smart ass mouth, grumbling on their breath. <laughs> okay, but 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 I'm, my pride ain't hurt because of that shit. I don't give a fuck. Take your ass upstairs like I fucking told you. Get your ass in that kitchen. Clean that fucking kitchen up. I ain't clean the kitchen. I'm sick of it. You done? Get your ass in that kitchen. Clean up the kitchen. I don't give a fuck about that shit, man. It's my daughter. She gonna have a funky attitude about something. She's a female. Something gonna piss her off. She gonna have a funky attitude about something. She'll get over it. And so will I. Because I love my baby girl. And it's just, and that's just it. I love my baby girl. If she's 40 or 50, if I'm able to do something, I'm going to help my fucking daughter. I don't understand y'all motherfuckers, bro. I don't understand y'all mindset. Y'all call it love. That's bullshit. That's not love. I don't know what it is, but it ain't love. 
This your boy Open Mind dropping truth bombs. I'm finna go in here and punch this clock. Generational wealth, my ass. That's some bullshit. Y'all don't believe in that because you don't practice it. Create a bless y'all. Get money. Deuces.